All right, welcome back, EENG460, and this one is going to be video number 10, and we are going to look at load word. All right, you know, we've done a bunch of stuff. We did load immediate, we did some add, we did some tr subtract, we did the data segment with ASCII and the ASCII Z directive, and last uh, video we did syscall, showed you how to print out a string. Well, now we're going to show you how to move data uh, back and forth between registers and memory. Okay, so the program that we want to look at here is load word okay, dot s and um, let's see this is QT spin PC spin was the old one and it looks at the load word well the load word has the mnemonic LW and once again uh, you know we have our uh, comment section up top and then we have our data segment right here okay. And if you look at the data segment, what do you have? Well, you have the ASCII directive uh, that declares a label called temp, and that temp um, re um, results in all these characters being stored to memory. So it's like we have 16 bytes of memory that are going to get initialized. And remember, our memory begins at uh, 1001 quad zero. Then we've got our text section, which is the rest of the program. First thing I do is I create a global called my main that identifies this particular procedure because um, we're going to have main routines and subroutines as we get along in the course. Okay, so the labels identify them and we may need to jump to those labels. All right, so let's take a look at uh, what we're doing here. The first thing this program does is it does a load immediate. Okay, and what that does is it takes an immediate value and um, it puts it into the register S0. All right, so why do I want 1001 quad zero? Well, the reason I want that is because that's where the data begins that I declared up here. It'll start storing the zero at 1001 quad zero. It'll put this guy at 1001 quad, uh, zero, zero, one. It'll put this guy at 1001 zero, 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 two, and so forth. All right, so I need to get the base address of where all this data begins. Then what I do is I use the load word. Well, how does the load word work? Well, it says, look at the contents of S0, which are... 1001 quad zero add this immediate offset to that so 1001 quad zero plus zero is still 1001 quad zero then go to that location in memory and grab 32 bits and shove it into t1 okay. so this guy right here is reading the contents of uh, it's reading four bytes 32 bits starting at the memory location 1001 quad zero so it's effectively reading 1001 quad zero one, two, and three. All right. Then what I can do is I can come down to here and say, well, let's uh, let's skip this stuff for now. Let's come down to here and execute this command. Well, what I'm doing there is I'm saying, all right, I'm doing a load word again. But now what I'm doing is I'm taking S0, which is the base address, and now I'm offsetting four bytes. I'm going to S0 plus four, which is 1001004, looking in memory and whatever's there, moving that into T2. And then the next statement right here, I get uh, the contents of S0. I add 8 to it. That's a memory location. I go to that memory location. I take the contents and I put it in T3. And then the load word down here, again, it takes the contents of S0, adds 12 to it, goes to that memory location, and uh, puts the value into T4. And then notice here I have 12. Here I have hex C. Well, these exact, these are the same thing. You can use decimal, 12, or you can use hexadecimal, and the 0x there means hex. So get the contents of S0, add hexadecimal C to it, which is 12, which will give you, um, what will I give you? 1001000C, it'll look up that memory, grab four bytes, and shove it into T5. Okay. So let's um, load this program and see what happens. Let's reinitialize and load, and this guy is load word. Okay. And let's bring the program back up there. And let's close it down a little bit. Okay, so notice the first thing in my data segment, I do this. Okay, what happens, what does that result in? Well, what that results in is this data being stored. Okay, there's the 0, there's the 1, there's the 2, there's the 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, okay. capital A, capital B, 
capital C, capital D, capital E, and capital F. All right, and there you go. And then over here, you're actually seeing the ASCII interpretation of that memory. And it all starts at 1001. So this location right here is 1001 quad zero. This location right here is 1001 0004. This location right here, 38, is 1001 0008. And this one right here, 43, is 1001 000C or 12. And then come down to here, this next location would be 1001 0010, but there's no data, so it just says that entire range is zero. It hasn't been used yet because it was initially set to zero. All right, well, let's look at the code. When we come down to here, what does this first statement do? Well, it takes S0, which is 1001 quad zero, adds zero to it. So it points to this location right here. And then it grabs four bytes, which is going to be 3332313, all 32 bits, and puts it into T1. That's going to be in T1. This statement down here is going to go to S0, which is going to be 1001 zero. It's going to offset four bytes, which is going to be 1001004, which is going to go to this location here and read the next four memory locations and load 3736 into T2. Here you're going to go to your base address plus 8, which is going to take you out to here to your 38. And you're going to load these 32 bits into T3. And then S0 plus 12 is going to take you out to here where this 43 is. And it's going to load 46, 45, 44, 43 into T4. And then T5 is going to be the exact same thing because C is 12. Let's go ahead and um, go to the text and actually do this. So if I hit F10, first thing we did was put 1001 quad zero into S0. Let's go look at our registers. There's S0. It has the base address of my data, 1001 quad zero. All right. All right, let's hit F10 again. What I did is I said go to 1000, take 1001 quad zero, add zero to it, go inside that memory location, and then grab 32 bits and shove it into T1. So in terms of my data, I'm grabbing this stuff right here and I'm putting it into T1. Go to your integer registers and find T1. And there you go, 33, 32, 31, zero. Go back to the program, hit F10 again. What did we do there? We went to our base address, we offset four bytes, which is going to take me to 1001 0004, which is going to be this stuff right here. And I'm going to move that to where? T2. All right, let's go look at our integer registers. Oh, there's T2. Yep, 37, 36, 35, 34. Now, if I hit F10 again, we're going to go to the base address plus 8. Okay, so, and then move that to what? T3. Base address plus 8 is this guy right here. We're going to take the 32 bits and move it to what? T3. Well, let's go look at T3. And there you go. There's T3. Now, this T4 and T5 are empty. And then these next two statements are going to go to your base address, which is 1001 quad zero. We're going to add 8 bytes to that. We're going to go to that memory location and move the contents to T4 and T5. So T4 and T5 should have the same thing. So I'll hit up 10 twice. Okay. And if I go to my integer registers, there you go. I've moved 46, 45, 44, and 43 to both T4 and T5. Go to your data section. What you did is you just moved 46, 45, 44, and 43 into those registers. What were they, T4 and T5? Yeah, T4 and T5. And then this guy right here just says terminate the program. And we're done. So you've learned how to use a load word. All right, that is probably good enough for today. And I'll uh, see you next time.